You know, and as the weather gets warmer, kids are so eager to get outside and play, and so are parents. But local hospitals are seeing a huge rise in emergency room visits caused by trampoline injuries. And Dr. Mark Adamchek is a surgeon with Akron Children's Hospital. Has some great advice for all parents and um, childcare workers too who are babysitting out there. Doctor, it's great to see you. Thanks for being with us today. Good morning. Sadly, this is time of year. Kids are outside, but we always and we report them on the news. The uh, the incredible number of injuries because of trampolines. They are so much fun, but really, there's a, a high rate of injuries with them. That's right. So uh, springtime is the is the season and summer. So um, we uh, we do see a big increase in the. Uh, Use of trampolines. A lot of people have bought them during quarantine, trying to find things to do at home. And um, unfortunately, uh, they're one of those things that can uh, really get kids into trouble uh, with uh, injuries that they can occur. So you have uh, a lot of jumping. great advice for, for, that we want to run through for everyone. You say one of the big things: always uh, just allow one person to jump at a time, because I'm sure you see a lot of collisions with a bunch of kids jumping together. That's right. So, uh, in general, uh, trampolines aren't recommended for kids, but there are some uh, uh, suggestions that might make it a little bit safer. And one of those things is jumping one at a time. What we typically see is when two kids are on it, it's the little kid that loses. So, mm -hmm. kind of physics, if you would uh, imagine it that way, uh, two kids are jumping, they collide, and it's the little kid that gets the broken bone or whatever injury might happen. No doubt. Also, the springs. I know whenever my kids were on a trampoline at someone's house, I was always so stressed about, about the, the springs because they are they can cause for a lot of injuries. That's right. They, uh, um, they, can, they need to be covered. Mm -hmm. uh, kids can land on them. They can fall through uh, where the mat stops and the springs attached to the frame. Mm -hmm. um, they can get pinched by them. There's a lot of different things that, the, that can happen with uh, those spring injuries, too. We were t looking at a lot of video of kids jumping, having a great time, and a lot of them have <laughs> that safety net around them. So that's pretty important to do, too. And you even mentioned they can fall through those springs, so keep those springs covered. But a lot of these kids bounce right out unless there is that safety net surrounding it. Yes, the safety net does help uh, in regard to the injuries where kids fall off of them, but I, it's often a, a little bit of a false sense of security to think, oh, I've got the net, we're going to be okay. Uh, and it's because of the multiple jumpers at a time and, and uh, collisions. There's also something uh, that happens with the mat. Uh, there's a little process where they, they call it a double bounce. Uh, the technical word is, I think, kipping, they call it. I didn't even know that before I look this up a little bit, but when one kid bounces to try to get the other kid higher and the mat is coming up, if you get that out of sequence a little bit, it's basically like falling from a second story window onto hard ground. Uh, it, can, it can really cause some injuries uh, just from the mat itself. Oh my goodness, how scary. Um, I'll also talk real quickly, and you even mentioned just them, them falling out through, a, but avoiding somersaults, flips, because a lot of these kids don't get high enough, and if they land wrong, that could be life-threatening. Yeah, the, those are the really dangerous ones. So kids trying to do a, a somersault or a flip, and they don't quite you know, make it or stick the landing, that, those can be the uh, kids that have the catastrophic injuries, the ones that are uh, neck, spinal cord, um, head injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, there's even been deaths reported from those type of injuries. So uh, we don't want to see any kids having that kind of a problem some, from something that should be fun uh, and ending up with, you know, being paralyzed or something just horrible. I know. And we thank you for being with us, sharing these great tips. And I guess the best piece of advice, too, parents should always be there and provide adult supervision at all times. Whenever the kids are there, there have to be those rules in place. If you're going to be on the trampoline, you have to let an adult know so they can keep an extra eye. Um, they're having a great time. They're not thinking of the injuries at the time. And we hope you don't see any this year. Uh, so thank you for being with us at the great Akron Children's Hospital, Dr. Mark Adamchek. Thanks for these great safety tips. Thanks, Stephanie. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you, Doctor.